So with this, I'll come to the topic for today. That's on fertility preservation and ART. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Kavita and uh, Atiti for being with me. And my whole team, uh, we've got a big team working behind this particular event. And uh, I'd like to thank, uh, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Sandhya, Ashna, Naveen, Varun, everyone who's not, whom you can't see. So before I move ahead, now we're touching a number of 140 and uh, taking, <coughs> taking the uh, before as customarily, Whenever we start any topic, I take blessings of Lord Siddhi Vinayak. All gods are gods. And uh, I take blessings of Lord Siddhi Vinayak from Mumbai. And then with this in mind, I will move ahead. And as I'm moving ahead, I like to, uh, this is my prayer. I like you to, in case you want, you can say this prayer in your heart. And this is what is in the modern world, post-COVID, I think we should be thanking the, thanking the Lord that we have survived. Um, it's a very big thing. So always thank God and uh, there is no end to our aspirations and ambitions. And I tell everyone that just be quiet. In case you deserve, you'll get things. Just tell God to give you the courage and wisdom to know the difference between the things which you can get, which you can't get, things which you can change, which you can't change. So with this background, I will go to something called Hobson Choice. Um, does anyone know what is what do we mean by Hobson choice? Anybody, anyone who answers will get a chocolate straight away by evening or chocolate cake by tomorrow. <laughs> anyone can tell me what is Hobson choice correctly. We anyone? should have we should have more more you know our development should not be limited to small small things. The world is a very big one. Anyone about Hobson's choice? I'll give you. Sir, sir, it, sir, it has something to do with like you know, take whatever is available. Who uh, bola? Main Dr. Bola, sir, Dr. Nisha. Nisha ko chocolate cake. Yes, thank you, sir. Take her address. Take her address. Right. <laughs> thank you, sir. Send your address uh, in the chat box. Okay. I'll I'll do that. We'll have thank a question you. every every time we have, we'll have something like this, and we'll get chocolate cake by evening today. <laughs> oh, thank you. Your address. Thank you. So Hobson's choice. Like Take it or leave it. Yeah, correct. There are two <laughs> types of choices. Sophie's choice and Hobson's choice. So both apply to when, whatever, I'm, whatever I'm asking. It's not about having a small you know, gupshap. It's about the topic for today. Remember, gentlemen, ladies, that Hobson's choice means that we have it. We have one option. Take it or you move away. So I don't want to go to the whole Kahani. It's a pretty exciting uh, discuss, discussing about Hobson's and Sophie's are my favorite uh, uh, terms of reference in life. But here, fertility preservation cases have only one mocha to do certain things. They have one option to do a thing and either they take it or they don't take it. Unfortunately, they don't know that they have a choice. Hobson's choice comes when somebody knows that he's got choice or not. But for our fertility people, they don't know that they have a choice. So first of all, uh, we'll have to take some sort of a pledge today that we have to tell people that they have a choice. Maybe it's a Hobson choice. In case they've missed that window of seven, eight days, the game is over. But still, yes, we should tell people that they have a choice and let them take it or let not let them not take it. Uh, that's it. And uh, in case you look at the world data, around 2 lakh cases less than 49 years of age. 2 lakh cases, 49 years of age are cancer cases which are coming every year in USA. There the data is very well defined. A similar data we have from our country also. Somewhere around 2 lakh cases come which have cancer hota hai, less than 49 years of age. And they are the ones who are actually needing some sort of fertility preservation. This is one message I want to give. Then a large number of women nowadays are trying to delay their pregnancy. So they get married at 40 only. The women get married at 40. Average, the type of TG I see, the women at Birla Fertility, the type of women we see, they normally come late. They're all educated people. They come late. So their TG can be, the target group can be elderly. So they come for fertility preservation. So there are two categories of people whom we see. One can be cancer, other can be the people who go in for social egg freezing care. And then there can be many things like gynecological diseases or there can be there can be autoimmune disorders which need chemotherapy or radiation therapy. So one thing is for sure, a large number of people, they need, they, they 
are having some sort of problem for which they will lose their fertility so when person x y z have got a problem what all they can do let's see what all they can do uh, they should be coming to you they will come to you i'm sure they will come to you or they'll be referred to you by somebody who's managing them so maybe a, a radiotherapist or a pediatrician uh, maybe an oncologist they are the people who will refer the patient to you so when they come to you this person comes to you to lana hi nahi chahiye na upar upar lana mein dikkat hai upar niche karne mein niche wala bhi isme rakhna chahiye so when they come to you important here is that they should have a rapid access they come to you and you refer that patient to an art clinic which is doing fertility preservation so everyone can't do it so either you do it yourself or you refer that patient to somebody who is doing it so what you need here is a rapid access quickly jo bhi karna hai should happen very very quickly uh, patient comes and before uh, you tell them give them a choice and then send them to a clinic which can help them that clinic should have a proper team either you may be a team but they should have a team and then they should have a good laboratory these three things are required and but bef- before they reach the clinic we should be having a group of people who are called counselors this is the main problem in our country we don't have counselors and the counselors should be looking after their mental health it should be mental counselors there can be genetic counselors in case there is something with a braca mutation or something and there can be financial counselors nothing comes cheap in our country as such we are billing people around 1.5 lakh rupees per second uh, approximately in the pan india i'm saying and then when somebody's got a cancer they'll end up spending around 2 lakh rupees more on fertility prevention so it becomes pretty expensive then the the treatment the money for oncology treatment is gonna be costing them some amount of money so all these things have to be done and they are the ones which are key important for us so fertility preservation services once you look at them here as you can see this picture a uh, small picture i'm trying to show you here uh, what we do is that we are trying to help the people to preserve their fertility and it costs money so i in my classes uh, which are for normally we keep teaching for 40 45 hours for every batch here one thing i want to tell you is that i tell people to take a snapshot of the image take a snapshot of this picture nothing comes free at any point of time in our country government is not funding it so this poor people have to fund it so young girl who's got cancer or leukemia she has to fund her treatment and this is it cost money this is what i'm trying to tell you and uh, try to be more helpful to those people uh, i think they need help so when we preserve fertility preservation means preserve preserving it ghar mein we have those pickles no we have those pickles we have conserves we have jams so they have conserved that food here it is similar thing this this people who are unfortunate they need our help and when we preserve their fertility we are preserving it in ice meaning that we have to freeze them so we freeze the freeze their embryos oocyte sperms that is one part of it and in case i look at the whole of fertility preservation i am doing uh, at billa fertility we are doing cancer patients very routinely every time we have some cancer patient running with breast cancer so you'll find that i say that my effort is my team's effort is only 20% for a breast cancer patient or a hodgkins only 20% 80% effort is of the embryologists so remember reading few articles if you want to start a treatment that's okay you can start but important here is that your embryology team has to be very very good 80% effort will go to the embryo. so is going to preserve your tissues the embryos who sites so we have we have going to have a very good team is going to do that so we can preserve male infertility we can preserve female infertility. both can be preserved preserving male infertility is easier males are always expendable so they they are large in number so preserving the male infertility by freezing their sperm is a very easy option as you can see that's not a problem at all for the woman she has got the whole life open this poor girl has got an hobson choice the men on the other hand as I, as i told you the men can have something called sophie's choice the men has got a sophie's choice she has got multiple choice like a chota bachcha when a small baby goes to or 
uh, any one of you goes to an Apple shop and you want to buy a small thing, and then you see a laptop, you see an iPad, you see a phone. Money is one lakh. So what do you do? Should I buy a laptop or iPad? So you have a choice, but you can only buy one because you only have one lakh rupees. But you'll buy something which you like. But this is for the men. Men has got multiple options to freeze. But for a woman, there is not much of choice. She's got a Hobson choice. Either she agrees or she not agrees. And for her, the whole class is here to support this young woman, a young girl. And when you take these classes, it's not about giving somebody a gyan. I'm trying to create some emotions in you. And, uh, we do so much. God has done so much for us. I request that uh, don't take this class as a theory class. Let's put our take a pledge to help this uh, young girl. So fertility preservation was being done before also, and they were being done for endometriosis. When somebody got endometriosis, okay, we could freeze her embryos, freeze her oocytes, uh, we could freeze her uh, uh, ovarian cortex. So they were all. Some experimental, non-experimental, but endometriosis were one thing which we were trying to do from a very long time. And uh, nothing much happened in this field. It is not a pro proper indication also. Thus, though an indication, but not a challenging indication. Then came the new concept. Yeah. Are women rising? Women rising high. And women of childbearing age could say, I want to buy a Tesla car. When I buy a Tesla car, I buy a penthouse apartment. I want to be independent, have a bank balance then I will see when I want to get married or not. So woman wants to take her marriage of age to 45, 50. And when she becomes 50, uh, by the time uh, she is, knows that she has no ovaries, ovaries have gone. She has become perimenopausal. So such women now, they can go in for oocyte freezing. So at 30, 30 35, they go in for oocyte freezing. Many of the corporates, the big companies are are supporting women to bank their oocytes. So they take packages at 30, 35. We get so many women at our clinics in Kudgao and Delhi who come to preserve their fertility at 35 years of age. So, and they get married at 40, 45. But for, can, for them, the time is running out. But for them, it is what type of choice? So I'll give you a choice. We got a cancer here. And we've got a woman who wants to do her social So your voice is... The voice. We have cancer and we have got social egg freezing. So I just want to ask you, general knowledge, who has got the Hobson choice and who has got Sophie's choice? Hobson's is with the cancer patients. Cancer. Fantastic. But you lost, lost your chocolate cake. Uh, oh. Let's go to Nisha for today. I'll send you one. That's what I'm going to ask you Okay. <laughs> So looking at the national figures, so be, first of all, be proud. I'm a nationalist. I'm from army. I'm a nationalist. My, for me, India is everything. So do visit the ICMR website. If you get time, the whole day you're on Facebook, the whole day you're downloading videos and forwarding them everywhere. Do go to ICMR website, go to NCDIR, go to National Cancer Registry Program. Please, if you have time, just do it for five minutes. Whenever you have time, do this. And then you'll find the whole world open in front of you. Everything about cancer is available here. The latest report is of 2020. And in our country, we have got 36 population-based and 236 hospital-based registries. I won't go into these things, but they're very important for us. For estimation of the trends, this is important for us. So there are population-based and hospital-based registries. Uh, this is not part of my topic today, but I feel that ICMR is doing a great work. You must know how the world is moving uh, forward. These are the few registries and population-based registries which will help you. They tell us what all cancers will be there by 2025. Read about them if you get time. And as a gyne gynecologist also, you should be CA uterus and ovary breast will help you to learn a lot, lot of things. And uh, data, male, female, all has been covered. You learn that the female cancers are more common in uh, a district called Pempupare. It's the northeast and for the male, it is as all. So nothing, just wanted to give you some, tell you that in our country, a lot of work is, done, is being done by ICMR. Do read about them. Male cancers are common in Isol and female are in 
Pepum Pare. And now coming to the topic for today, time is now 9.53. I'll take around one hour from now, maximum one hour from now and move ahead. So challenges, balance, options, review of literature and take-home message is the way I'm going to go. As always, I have drawn my strength from ASHRAE guidelines, ASRM committee guidelines of 2019, the latest ones. And then I've taken my guidelines from the, they are the um, ESCO guidelines, which I'm referring to, and uh, they are also from 2018. So these three bulletins you'll be getting in your mailbox. Uh, within half an hour of the lecture getting over, you'll get in your mailbox, don't bother about them. Global fertility preservation challenges, just remember that in our country, what happens is that uh, it's a surprise for anyone to get a cancer. It's a surprise. Today we are having dinner and tomorrow morning something will happen, a bit of fever and then you, you go to cancer. So uncertain outcome, economic burden. These three things are there everywhere. Lack of, we in our country, we have complete lack of uh, uh, fertility navigation. There is no access. We don't know where to go to. Even you won't know whom to refer to. That's a bigger problem we have. Lack of counseling is a big thing. Lack of knowledge and training. And more than that, we as a gynecologist are... We, we are not team members. We don't talk to people. We do things our own way. We can do any gynecologist who can do placenta previa. We'll also do over in tissue breathing because we can't say no. In our country, never say no. This is the main problem. So we placenta previa karenge, sham ko over in cortex tissue breathing. That's it. This is India. So don't do it. Learn to say no. Fertility preservation, either learn or go to a qualified teacher. What patients feel, they are afraid. They don't know where to go. This poor child is worried. Who's going to marry me? I've got cancer. I've got Hodgkin's. I've got breast. I've got, and breast cancers are very common. In my, at, at our clinic, we get them like this. We keep getting uh, one patient uh, every month or so approximately. And young girls we get. Results are seen after a decade or so. Destiny. And then we are the people who are the main culprits. So first pledge which you have to take is that we have to start giving knowledge to people. We tell them that you got Hobson choice. Maybe Hobson choice, but you have some choice. If you don't tell them, these poor people can't do much. The ultimate balance is between the 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 type of chemotherapy or radiation therapy, we what we have learned is that the these people are they are having a better five year survival rate. When they have better five year survival rate, they are young cancer survivors. We call them we call them YCS, they're young cancer survivors, and they are the people whom who will after they have healed, they want to get parenthood die. So we have more survivors. Cancers are occurring at a younger age and when they survive, they want to have their own child. That's the time it goes back that we were never told, we were not informed and then they probably will have to go for adoption or something of that nature. Remember that chemotherapy is basically to kill a cell which is cancerous. So when they're killing a lung cancer cell here, as you can see here, it's going to kill it. The chemotherapy Along with this, they will also act upon the testes and kill the testes. They may act upon the ovary and they will kill the oocytes. So that's the way the chemotherapy works. And then there is radiation therapy. Radiation therapy will not only, not only kill the oocytes and sperms, they will also damage the uterus. They'll damage the uterus. They will damage the blood supply. So all our ovarian artery, the uterine arteries, ovarian arteries are also damaged, uterus is also damaged. That's the beauty of, of radiotherapy. So we have a fine balance between the age, chemotherapy, radiation protocol. This we, I think we all, we have evolved uh, in the post-COVID era. We know that younger the younger the girl or a boy, more the chance of her uh, living longer. Younger the boy and a girl, they'll have a safer chemotherapy or radiation therapy protocols. They, they need less dosages. So Overall, when you look at the male or a female, uh, once we look at them, we will find that the type of tumor, location, 
age and sex of the patient, diagnosis of chemotherapy, dose of radiation is going to make the difference. So we have to learn. And mind you, in case you won't know, no radiologist, no pediatrician, no hemato oncologist, or anyone in this world is going to take you seriously. You have to read. And when I started, I I I knew more in oncology than a and an oncologist in terms of uh, the kidney problems or a problems with the testes. You have to learn. Otherwise, they'll never talk to you. So you've got to know the basic uh, chemotherapy regimes. You have to know to know how much how many grades are required for uh, radiotherapy. So radiotherapy, in case you look at it, I always quote this Freddie Gostan model. It's a lovely model, Freddie Gostan model. It shows that when a young girl takes birth, she has got few million X in her. They've got few million X in her body, and uh, as now she is aging, she will be left with around few hundreds, at around fifty years of age. So she's going to live for fifty years of age. Long journey. At forty, forty-three, also she can become a mother with the remnant X. But in case we give her some sort of therapy, as per the Freddie Gostan model, we give her some therapy. At this point of time, this age maybe ten years, we'll find that she will go into menopause by thirty. The poor girl will menopausal now, and she won't have any eggs. So what do you do? How do we preserve her eggs? Because in case we don't think this poor girl will, and I think it's not only the technical responsibility; it is the social responsibility of all of us here to take charge of this young girl and contribute in her happiness. God has done enough for us. The very fact we can open our Zooms platform and open our expensive laptops and have nice uh, breakfast in the morning. And there are maids working at home for large number of us. I think we are well sorted out. Spend some time to help these poor people. So we know that the radiotherapy depends upon the dose. More the dose, more is the problem, and it can also harm not only the follicles or the eggs. It can also harm the ovarian tissue. Chemotherapy same way. alkylating agents are the worst so there are multiple types of chemotherapeutic agents but alkylating agents are the worst and then anti metabolites and anthracyclines are okay so whenever a woman gets or a man gets previous by women only men also i'm sorry for all the men present here i am for the men also for the young boys boys also they have the same problem uh, but they are more resistant uh, as compared to the women because men will keep making sperms previous chemotherapy as you can see here will her they will become sterile the, the the woman will become sterile and she'll go into ovarian failure the risk of sterilization is here so this is the background and here the type of chemotherapy the dose of chemotherapy age at which, which it it is given you know it's a choice we have to make why do we what is the sophie's choice is about a mother in case you read it's about a mother who had to choose between two children of hers one had to die world war 2 ki kahani yes Ch cake chala gaya aaj ka cake nahi milne wala koi baat nahi good good and i'm so happy i'm so happy that you guys are reading so here we have a choice in case you don't tell the oncologist boss give milder regime he will give any so we are the people who can manipulate the regime now i i manipulate my regimes i tell my oncologist i request him with folded hands ki sir give this and for this i read and go i tell him start with this later on we'll convert let me preserve our fertility so it's always about choices which we make in life they have a sophie's choice definitely at this point of time tell the oncologist what to give tell the radiotherapist what to give unko bolo clip kar do we tell them give a shield so in case we won't tell them they won't know They just put this poor girl under the scanner and radiate her. So we have to. So I'm a bit emotional about the topic because I've seen so many lives being destroyed. So many lives being destroyed. Okay, not going by sentiments. Uh, so injury to the blood vessels, ovarian cortex, fibrosis, all these things can occur. So there is this a chart. I keep I'll keep shuttling to the guidelines. This this is from the various guidelines. I think it's from Ashray. And read this. I'm going to send you all this mid all this literature to you by around 11:30. All will be in your mailbox. As I promise, whichever article is in the world which has come, 
till today, which is relevant, will be sent to you. All the guidelines. So read about high risk chemotherapy and low risk chemotherapy, unknown risk that you can read. On co fertility unit, me kya kya hota hai? We have stakeholders and organization. So we have clinical care team and fertility and fertility preservation team. What is the clinical care team? CCT we call it. We call it CCT. It is a primary healthcare providers, radio therapist, oncologist, pediatric hematologist, pediatric oncologist, gynae oncologist. They are the clinical care team. They want to pick up that patient and give it to you. And then we are here. Who are we? We are here. But these people are not aware of anything. I'm not saying not aware. They know less. So we have to keep guiding them continuously. Have meetings, meet them, and keep guiding them. Otherwise, they'll just give any chemotherapy, radiation, or radiation therapy. So know about CCT. Know about fertility preservation. For this, read ASHRAE guidelines. We'll be giving it to you. What does an onco fertility unit do? हम लोग क्या करते हैं? What do we do? I've been doing. I, I'm. I've been. I've been heading this unit from now. Past uh, 23 years, I've been heading such units as the head of fertility oncology fertility units. What do I do? I actually don't do much. My team does all the work. It's a team work. But as a leader, uh, I envisage that we should have a good counselling. We should know about random start protocols. When I get a young cancer girl nowadays, initially we were very scared. What to do? Uske periods to aye nahi hai. She is on day 21, or she is just had her periods, or she is on day 14. So teams are scared. What to do? Wait till day two. Now we don't wait. Any breast cancer patient, we have done so many. The moment the girl comes, we start, and we get good number of oocytes from her. So that corroborates with our AMH, and all our uh, my team members. I got a lovely team at uh, Delhi Gurgaon Center. We got very good results with cancer patients, and we start the day they come to us. Random start protocols: ovum pickup and freezing. Yes, we know OPU, ovarian transposition. We can do, and we can do ovarian cortex freezing. These are all things we can do. Most important here is support and counselling. Because you ask, what is important is, gentlemen, ladies, support, counselling, support, counselling, support, counselling. Close your eyes. Take a picture of this diagram. It's from Ashray guidelines. It will be reaching you within one hour from now. Ashray guidelines. Okay. So they say this is strong and. हम व्हाट वी डू इज दैट वी नॉर्मली कैरी आउट अ केस एंड देन वी फॉरगेट अबाउट हर दैट्स नॉट द थिंग द काउंसलिंग शुड बी गिवन फॉर चाइल्ड वेयरिंग आल्सो इफ यंग लड़की का अगर वी प्रिजर्व हर ओवरियन कॉर्टेक्स सो वी फील वेरी हैप्पी सो व्हाट डू वी डू डू हर ओवरियन कॉर्टेक्स और डू हर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एंड देन अगले दिन फोटो फेसबुक के ऊपर लिंक्डइन के ऊपर वी डिड अ केस ऑफ ओवरियन कॉर्टेक्स people are consulting you liking you aim is to get liked so come out of this if a country has to progress what it should be holistic care we have to give to these poor girls not poor girls but they can be my child it can be me tomorrow so it should be pregnancy after therapy it should be child bearing and parenting options All have to be given. It's not only that you have taken out few oocytes and then we start talking in the webinars. My experience is of twenty cases. This is utterly, utterly bad. And we we have not spoken to the patient. We we use a patient like an as an anyone comes to us, we do her egg banking and then we it goes into a data bank like a number that shouldn't happen. This poor child is our responsibility. She's like a daughter. So. उसे बताना है प्रिंटिंग में क्या होगा वेन यू कॉन्सी वॉट विल हैपन टेल हर नाउ ओनली शी मे बी नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ एज गिव टेक हर एक्सेंट डू वीडियो काउंसिलिंग एंड टेल हर सो दैट शी पुअर गर्ल नोज हैपन टू हर टेल टेल टू हर पेरेंट्स टेल टू हर सो काउंसिलिंग इज द मेन थिंग एंड गिव डिसीजन एड समथिंग कॉल्ड डी ए सो जेंटमन लेडीज रीड अबाउट डी एशरी गाइडलाइंस What are decision aids? I think Akriti can talk better about DAs. Well, she's MRCOG here, but uh, all over the world they use decision aids for the people, and this comes from UK. Pre-treatment assessment, we need to do it. We need to do it. We also have to know where it is not recommended. I'm talking about Hobson's choice, Sophie's choice. Sophie's choice is going to a, a mall, or going to a mall and to buy certain things. You want to buy everything there. 
you're confused you can't leave you want to have a packet of um, chips you want to have a chocolate you want to have coke you want to have cookies you want to eat burger you want to have a pizza and you're confused that is sophie's choice but here we have should know where we have to say no to a patient also accurate assessment has to be done uh, okay so gradually i'll be coming to the clinical parts but this is very important now before we do i like to see the patient thoroughly myself still i start and then i anyone can do the case anyone can follow but as a senior uh, where i have done so many complications in my life i look at anesthesia complications pick up kiya how are the lymph nodes how is that lymph nodes above the diaphragm or the lymph node below the diaphragm it is the stage 1 cancer stage 2 cancer how is the axillary nodes uh, how are the cervical nodes complications difficult access to ovaries complications of hormone sensitive tumors infection immunodeficiencies hemorrhage uh, my i think third or fourth case of oocyte freezing was for a lady who was a pilot with air india i had i didn't know that time it can be so tricky she had a zero platelets for 3 days zero platelets for 3 days and now she she must be still flying now because we could manage her because i was in a big unit but she was in a zero platelet count for next 3 days after i did that case so bone marrow transplant challenging cases they give you they really they really give you then they can be thrombosis occurring what are the preservation options now what all the options we are having um i'll just clear my screen please don't write on the screen in case possible because they are being recorded i'll be so careful with you and if somebody was there with us in the, in the last meeting you know that it was we had a zoom bombing so fortunately today it is only one small blue line what are the options we have options can be emergency they can be non emergency so most important here is not this important here is patient assessment Assessment ठीक से करेंगे तो result अच्छा आएगा. So for a young girl, we can carry out ovarian tissue freezing, ovarian stimulation. We can do in vitro maturation, ovarian transposition, GnRH protection. And then we can carry out embryo preservation, oocyte cryopreservation, ovarian tissue preservation. So this is storage part. And then it is subsequent use. So what I want to tell you here is that this is the most important part. So look small. Assessment is the most important part. Intervention anybody can do. This anybody can do. Assessment is very important. Do it properly, and later on things are in the hands of this. All things are in the hand of embryologist. We lose our patients here, counselor. In our country, it is not science is not growing due to the counseling part. So we have to focus on the counseling part. So what all options we have here? Clear cut options we have here, as you can see here, that in case we have a male, we can it can be prepubertal, pubertal, post pubertal. and the female can be pre pubertal and post pubertal in a pre pubertal female we do ovarian cortex simply it's an otc and for a post pubertal in case she is married we go in for embryo in case she is unmarried we go in for oocyte crab simply and for the men is basically testes or sperm crab preservation so patient assessment intervention storage are three things we have to know find out what find out what is right for that patient in a woman comes to an at uh, at a at an age of 40 years and she wants to do otc ovarian tissue freezing pinch of salt don't do it so for the men is very easy take the semen sample add some glycerol and then you can do her freezing and carry out ivf or iui later for the men there is never a problem actually i have never faced a problem with the men uh, we hoskins lymphomas we have done tisa after 20 years of chemotherapy we micro tisa really help in such cases we are having okay results in cancer patients or we can do biopsy and we can freeze testicular tissue so men is not much of a problem and that's what i like to tell you here there are two methods so this is important for you to know in short we spend around 6 to 8 hours in our classes but here i only have few seconds we have two methods slow freezing and vitrification vitrification for all whatever we do we do vitrification for tissue for ovarian uh, for oocyte sperm it's always vitrification but when we talk about otc ovarian cortex it is always slow freezing just remember this just keep in your mind for ovarian tissue always carry out slow freezing nothing else just the same thing i want to tell you